My name is Shane Nyquist, and I'm on a mission to break the electric motorcycle land speed record. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the engineering and the different decisions I made for the retractable landing gear slash stabilizers. And uh, we'll go over some of the welding that I've done on the chassis, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy! So one of the main engineering challenges I had for this bike was figuring out how I was going to stay stable uh, when I was going slow, or stopping, or sitting still. Uh, because it's a streamliner, and my legs are inside, and I can't put them down. It's a motorcycle, so I got two wheels, so it's inherently stable when it's not moving. Um, so I had to think of some way to potentially put something down, um, and I went through a couple different renditions. Um, first one we did was kind of a cable pull system. I catted up a whole entire system where the cable would pull an actuator down and the wheels would land on the ground. And then I had kind of had like a parking brake system where I would push it and remove a lock. Um, this ended up being pretty complicated. So complicated it seemed like it probably wouldn't work so I didn't want to put too much money into it. Um, after that I ended up getting a hydraulic pump from a buddy of mine and bought a couple of hydraulic cylinders that I would hope would actuate down. Um, that involved a whole nother plumbing system, more 12 volt load, and a lot more components inside of it that seemed to be big and bulky. The other uh, problem with that was I didn't know the specs on the pump, so the pump could end up been very slow, meaning that it could be almost a minute to a minute and a half before these legs would come all the way down. So. So what I wanted to do was build kind of a mechanical positive lock system that I knew would work under load. That would be locking up and locking down and electrically actuated. So I ended up mounting the Makita impact driver to a Harbor Freight trailer jack. I modified it and pulled the guts out and what it has is a kind of an Acme screw. And I used the drill remotely to trigger that and I could actuate it up and down. The actuation of it going up and down would pull a push rod which would attach to my outside wings, what I call wings or stabilizers, um, and they would be able to be pushed up and down. Now the whole system was very compact because I had kind of had designed something really small initially and didn't leave much room, so I had to really design this in a very narrow slice. After a lot of sleepless nights and engineering on the computer, I think I ended up with the configuration I'm gonna use for this bike. I'm gonna put a couple indicator lights for when they're all the way down and when they're all the way up, so while I'm in the cockpit, I can tell if they're retracted or all the way up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, I really appreciate you watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and have a good one. Thanks.